Right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, hi, my name is Jock Grove, and I'm a senior at Granada High School. Uh, I've been swimming varsity for the past four years and competing on a year-round swim team for nine. And next year, I'm going to be swimming as a student athlete at Cornell University. Um, my journey to becoming a swimmer started when I was only a year old, when I was diagnosed with bleeding disorder, von Willebrand's disease. And basically what this means is that if I get a cut, it takes a lot longer than usual to stop bleeding. Uh, this meant that all contact sports uh, where I could get a concussion like soccer or football were off limits for me. Uh, when I was three years old, my parents enrolled me in swim school just so I could learn how to swim and not drown. <laughs> and after learning how to swim, I decided to join a year-round swim team because I liked swimming. And starting out, I wasn't you know, the biggest or the strongest kid when I was eight years old, um, but I focused a lot on my technique, and through that, I was able to find some moderate success at some local swim meets. And fast forward to when I'm 11, I decided to switch teams uh, to where I am now with the Livermore Aqua Cowboys, and go from three to six practices a week, which was a big step up in commitment, which I wasn't quite ready for. Every single practice was so much harder than what I was used to, and I wasn't really motivated either because um, I just didn't really have any friends on the new team, and it was pretty hard for me, and I ended up skipping several times a week. Um, I stopped improving as fast, and my peers on the swim team, uh, who I used to be faster than, leaped ahead of me. And at this point, I was only really swimming because of inertia, not because of any love for the sport, just because I joined the swim team when I was eight, and just never stopped. And despite this, I moved up to the senior group on the swim team in ninth grade, which meant going to eight practices a week, including two morning practices at 5 a.m. And moving up to the senior group, where I was surrounded by kids older than me, which had higher expectations of my commitment, and which had a, a culture of uh, commitment to the sport, really helped me find my love for swimming, which I didn't always have. Um, I started to enjoy all the tough practices and take pride in my swimming. And my results showed it as I started to improve a lot. Uh, despite setbacks such as breaking my elbow, um, a canceled high school season, and then being out of the water for months due to the pandemic, I was able to come back stronger than ever. And coming out of pandemic lockdowns my junior year of high school, I improved a ton and I qualified for the Junior National Championships, which was the fastest 1800 meet in the whole country, which had been a goal of mine for years that I finally achieved. With this improvement, I also became fast enough to think about swimming in college. Uh, after months of talking to different coaches and visiting colleges, I decided to commit to Cornell University, which has been my dream school throughout the whole process. Uh, and I can't wait to continue my swimming career in college. Balancing 20 hours of practice a week with rigorous classes these past couple years has taught me so many life skills that I'm grateful I've learned. It's taught me the value of hard work, it's taught me the value of managing my time, and how to set and achieve goals that are far in the future. Um, I'm so thankful to my teammates for making the hard sets and 5 a.m. practices fun to my coach, Alex Silver, for believing in me and for always pushing me to be, be my best and for helping me so much with the college recruiting process. Thank you to my mom for taking me uh, for taking me to swim meets on the weekends, giving up her weekends for years uh, to help me achieve my goals. And thank you to Livermore Granada Boosters for choosing me as a finalist and giving me this great opportunity. Thank you.